What's up, Nerdyverse? I'm Daddy Louie, and in this video, we are taking a look at a game called The Kringle Caver, so stick around. Before we get started, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe for more content and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. The Crinkle Caper is a brand new game put out by Grand Gamers Guild. Uh, it is available right now for purchase uh, over on their website. Um, it is listed as uh, any number of players can play one to any number. Uh, it is also listed as any age, but we'll talk about both of those things a little later. Uh, and it takes around 60 minutes to play. Our playthrough took just under an hour and 20 because uh, we took a little break in the middle. Uh, in this game, something mysterious has happened at the North Pole, and it is up to you to solve a series of puzzles to figure out what it is that happened, and of course, who the culprit is. Um, it's listed as an escape game, uh, which just means that it's, like I said, a series of puzzles to reach the end. You're not really trying to escape anything. It's more like a, like a mystery. Um, you will take this small pack of 18 cards, um, and along with a uh, smartphone or a computer, anywhere basically that you can access a website, you go to the website, which will be a companion along with the cards. As you solve puzzles, you'll put the answers to the puzzles onto the website, and it will tell you whether you were right or wrong. Uh, the website also has uh, some hints and things like that, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. But is it good? Well, if you join me on the table, let's check it out. All right, so everything you see here is what you're going to get. All of the cards fit uh, inside of this uh, tuck box. Now, uh, my cards are sleeved, and you may want to do that because uh, that would allow you to write on the cards with a dry erase marker. Uh, and some of the puzzles, uh, that is definitely helpful. You could also use a scrap piece of paper or something like that. Um, but it has some really cool art on the front. And uh, on the back, you see here, it says a 60-minute mystery for one or more elves of any age. And then you uh, open this up, and then on the inside, uh, it tells you, warning, do not look at fronts of any of the cards until you are instructed to do so. Uh, this is a one-and-done game, so once you uh, complete it and solve the puzzles, uh, there's really no reason for you to go back and play again. Um, but the game is inexpensive, and uh, because of its size, it's really easy to play with your family and or friends, and then pass it on to another player or someone that wasn't at the table, another family member or something, for them to solve. Uh, so I really kind of like that. Uh, so here it says, you know, contains 18 cards. Uh, the backs look like this, uh, which you see here. They're labeled 1 through 18. Um, and then you have the instructions. Uh, the instructions are basically, you know, you're going to flip card one over once instructed to do so. And then from there, you won't even look at these instructions anymore because um, everything that you need to know will be on the cards themselves. Um, to access that website that I was talking about earlier that acts as a companion, uh, there is actually a website listed here. Or you can use the QR code, which is what we're going to do. So you just take your smartphone with your camera, uh, you glance it over that QR code, you'll get a notification to open the website, and it opens the website really quickly. So here it says, this is a cooperative puzzle-solving game. Keep the 18-card deck face down for now. When instructed by this app, you will take specific cards from the deck and turn them face up. For each micro, uh, uh, micro glass uh, icon here, that you see on a card, find one uh, answer for uh, in, in, and put it into the app. If you get stuck, click a card number below uh, for hints about the puzzle. When you're ready to start, uh, click start. So uh, basically once we're to this step, um, everybody then gathers around the table. Uh, you would click start and you're ready to go. So you would then flip card one over and it will give you a little story, a little fluff. Uh, the puzzle will be on the card, and then you solve the puzzle. And then once you have the answer, you're going to type in the answer right up here, whatever you think it is, and then you're going to click check. And you're going to get one of 
three-ish messages. You're either going to get, yes, that's correct, with a little more flavor and move on. You'll get keep searching where it says there's no information that can be found about the answer you gave, which is what I put in. Or you'll get wrong. Uh, so if you put something, you, so basically you're going to get a yes, no, or a, you know, we didn't understand your answer kind of uh, response. If at any time you get stuck, there are hints about each of the clues. So you would click, for example, we're on card one, you'd hit card one hints. And then uh, it says, you know, to solve this puzzle, you only need one card. So it basically gives you a little bit of a hint. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. Um, I'm also not going to flip over any of the cards. So what kind of review is this if I can't see what we're doing? Um, I, I want this to be uh, as spoiler free as possible. Um, I will tell you that the first few puzzles are fairly easy, pretty straightforward, but they do get increasingly more difficult. Um, and yeah, that's really everything that I can show you um, about the components and about the game itself. Um, there are no rules, you know. Um, one thing that I didn't show you on the, uh, on the website here is that once you've clicked go, there's actually a timer. So uh, the timer starts going, and it will let it'll keep track of how long you're uh, playing. There's also a little thing up here that says traditional Christmas songs and poems, so you can you know just read along with some Christmas po uh, poems and songs and stuff like that. Um, they're free to reference if you think that you need anything during your search. Um, we didn't really use that too much, and then uh, you know again a little more information on the website down below. But uh, this is really easy to use, uh, pretty straightforward. Like I said, you don't really need the instructions very much. And once you've done, uh, completed the mystery and solved it, uh, you're not going to really go back to this again. So uh, that's everything that uh, I wanted to show you here on the game. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go back and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts. So what are my final thoughts on uh, the Kringle Caper? As a uh, gamer and as a lover of puzzles, I really adored this little game, um, and I enjoyed playing it. Um, it is a one-and-done, so I have no need to really revisit it again, uh, which is okay, uh, again, because the, the price tag is cheap, and um, it's really easy to pass this on to uh, other people and other players for them to try out. Um, it, it has a great use of multiple cards. As you get further uh, along the, uh, into the mystery, you'll start using previous cards that will join together with other cards uh, to form other puzzles and things like that. So it really is a great use of all 18 cards. It's not like, okay, you use card one and then card one's done. You use card two, then card two is done. Towards the end, you start to use multiple cards from that you've previously seen, which I think is a really, really neat thing that they've done here. Uh, the game is challenging. So back to what I was saying at the beginning of the video about um, the age. It says it's for any age. You'll definitely want an older player with you, you know, a teenager or an adult. Um, I don't think that young kids are going to be able to solve this by themselves because there are some pretty challenging uh, challenges here, even with the hints. There was a couple that four of us at the table, two adults, a teenager, and a preteen, couldn't figure out we needed to use clues uh, and hints, and we still had a hard time with them, uh, which may contribute to why it took us a little bit longer. So do keep that in mind. It does say all ages, um, but I think it's it would be tough for you to just put you know a couple six or seven-year-olds together and expect them to be able to solve this on their own. Um, the only complaint that I really have about the game is that the card text is quite small. Uh, so in the fluff and in some of the things, the card text is kind of small. So if you have a lot of people, it wasn't hard to read, but if you have a lot of people at the table trying to contribute to this, you might struggle. Um, we had four people and we kind of struggled, all of us being, you know, huddled around, faces really close to the table, all of us trying to read the cards at the same time, trying to help each other. Uh, my kids eventually got frustrated and left because uh, there really wasn't anything for them to do while us uh, adults were trying to figure out puzzles. So um, I would like to see the text a little bit bigger 
or put the cards, put this, instead of putting it on um, standard playing cards, maybe uh, have had them put them on tarot-sized cards or cards that were a little bit bigger in size so that more people at the table felt like they were contributing uh, to what we were doing at the table. Um, the other thing that you could do is buy multiple copies and then just have each deck uh, going at the same time. So if you plan on getting this game uh, for a Christmas party or you know you want a large family to do it, my recommendation would be get a couple of copies. That way um, you can split off into smaller groups to accomplish it or you just have multiple copies on the table for different uh, people to be able to see. Again, it, it mostly is because they have a lot of information on these little cards. And again, if you have multiple people at the table uh, trying to play the game, you might struggle a little bit there. Um, other than that, like I said, as a gamer, as a lover of puzzles, uh, this game was quite cool uh, and a lot of fun. At the end, we had a chuckle uh, once we figured it out. And, um, and I think ultimately, you know, it did a good job of bringing everybody together uh, to have a good time in that uh, hour plus time span that we spent playing the game, which is the point anyway, right? Uh, so like I said, this game is on sale right now. Uh, I will leave links to everything in the description below. You can go order it right now. It's a great stocking stuffer, uh, great price. Again, the size is good for a stocking stuffer or a small gift or something like that for someone in your office or a loved one. So definitely go and check it out and show them some love. What do you guys think of the Kringle Caper? Let me know down in the comments section below. Uh, if you'd like to see more from the Circle of Nerds, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram, and we have TikTok, all at Circle of Nerds. Also, don't forget that we have a podcast that comes out every week called The Cosmic Disaster Show. You can find that right here on YouTube or anywhere that you enjoy listening to podcasts. And for an extra bit of love and affection to us here at the Circle of Nerds, please consider checking us out over on Patreon at patreon.com slash circle of nerds. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I will see you in the next video.